Welcome to a video from the Dislife.com, a new Windows 10 build to look at, and this is 20201 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. And pretty much like recent builds, there's not a huge amount to show you on this build, but there are some fixes and some known issues, so I'm going to dive into those. So, I installed this build on my virtual machine, and also on my Surface Go, no issues with installation. Uh, but like I said, there aren't any major fixes, uh, sorry, there aren't any major new features. There's some fixes, they fixed the anti-cheat software where it may fail to launch, that's a, a known issue, it's been there for ages, so it's great to see that's fixed. They fixed some language issues, they fixed some HDR monitor issues, and they fixed the issues where the min-max close buttons on apps like these up here, uh, were stuck in the original positions on a UWP app, this is Edge, it's not UWP, but these were kind of stuck, and I'm glad to see they fixed that. And they've also fixed the uh, ascent input scope. So, known issues if you're going to install this build, well, they're still looking to reports of the update process hanging. This is a known issue for it for months, and I've never seen this issue once, but it, they've still got it in there. Um, they're investigating some reports that taskbar experience for pin site isn't working for some sites. I haven't seen that. And uh, enable live preview for pin type sites that's where you sort of you pin your, your apps your um, edge sites and the preview thumbnails not working I haven't seen that uh, and they're working on enabling the new taskbar experience for pin sites that's um, where they change this layout um, they're working on fixes for pin sites to show all the tabs for a domain as in oh, the site uh, they've got some issues with mail syncing I haven't seen that myself um, fixing issues with Document Explorer and I haven't seen any errors with that myself either um, this one here I am seeing so if you've seen in my previous videos, last week's video where I did this on Surface Go this is a new feature they introduced last week this manage disk volumes replacing the MMC snapping and on my Surface Go it crashed every time um, so they're still investigating that but at least I can show you on this on this virtual machine so that's all the fixes and known issues with this build. It's not the um, most interesting builds, but it's good to see that they continue to develop them. With twenty, uh, with the, these builds, these uh, dev channel ones, they're not necessarily tied to a release schedule, so they're just putting features in there, test them, and if they're successful, then they get passed to, some, to a build on the beta channel, which recently got updated as well. Anyway, that's it for this video. You can find out more on the digitallifestyle.com, on our YouTube channel, and I'm on Twitter, and I'm on Twitter, I Stixon. Thanks for watching.